Welcome to this two-part series where I'm going to show you how you can build a boost gauge for under $20. So let's roll the intro and get into it. So the goal in this video is gonna to be to build our own customizable and digital boost gauge for $20. And I'm gonna be installing it on my 1995 Nissan Silvia. So it's gonna be a pretty simple build, so let's get to it. So what we're gonna need for this build is very simple. There's four pieces. We have uh, our Arduino Nano, that's the microcontroller. We have our boost sensor. We have our screen and a power filter. So like I said before, this entire setup was only 20 US dollars. It's about $5 per unit. And uh, I think this is about the cheapest that you're gonna be able to build yourself a digital boost gauge. Now having this is all good and fine, but you're also gonna need a few other things for prototyping. So having a breadboard, some jumper wires is helpful as well. Also, you're gonna need a computer and a cable and a couple of other small things just to get this thing set up, programmed, uh, wired up and working properly. I am not by any means an expert at any of this. I am not an engineer. Uh, I don't have much experience with any of this, but I have enough to kind of know what I'm doing and to, to build this. So uh, don't take anything I say for granted, but um, definitely do your own research. There's a lot of info out there about um, all of these products. So um, do your own research if something I say doesn't make sense. But um, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about what each of these pieces is and kind of what they do. So if you want to skip ahead and you don't want to hear all these little details, I'll put a little bookmark in the video progress and you can skip ahead to the assembly. All right, so first off, we have a, an Arduino microcontroller. So essentially, um, this is a very, it's a very simple unit. Uh, you essentially have inputs and you have outputs. And then you have a chip on here that allows you to put code on there to um, tell the inputs and outputs to do different things um, based on what you require. So it's, it's just a very basic thing. You get signals in, decide what to do, and then you have signals going out. So in essence, uh, this is the brains, this is the computer that's gonna be controlling everything. Uh, let's go over the power filter. So this is a uh, essentially um, a power regulator and it's going to take voltage in and put voltage out. Um, the voltage it's putting out is going to be smooth and it's not going to uh, jump in voltage like uh, something you can definitely have in, in a car especially. Um, you can have some pretty uh, some pretty dirty voltage so you need something like this to clean it up so that the Arduino is going to last long. This isn't a necessity for this build, but uh, it'll definitely make everything work just a little more efficiently and reliably. The next thing we have is our screen. This is a 1.3 inch, I believe, um, OLED uh, screen that has uh, communication over I2C. Um, it's a very basic protocol. You only need the four pins. Um, you have your voltage, your ground, and then your two communication lines so it's a very basic screen um, very cheap as well and it's going to do exactly what we need and then the last thing is of course your boost sensor so this essentially hooks up into your vacuum or boost system in a car and will give us a voltage out on these terminals here um, based on the amount of pressure coming in or the amount of vacuum so those are the four pieces that we're going to need so here i have everything connected and kind of all the wires jumped in and hooked up to the right spot so that this thing can get powered and can do what we need it to do. It may look a little confusing, and, but it's gonna make a lot more sense once you actually wire it up and once you, um, you have the code and you kind of see what, what's happening. So I will have schematics to this. Um, I'll have a, a link in the description, um, all the project code, all the schematics and all the parts that I bought off AliExpress. I'll have links to that all in the description of this video. So essentially what we're doing here is we are wiring in the screen to have voltage and ground, which is coming from the Arduino. The Arduino is powering the screen. And then we have our two serial lines, which communicate with the Arduino. 
And then we have uh, this orange one here is our boost signal input. And that's essentially what's going on there. Uh, we also have our boost sensor um, has these two wires um, to get 12 volts from this battery that I have over here. So I have uh, these, these leads here get power from the battery and they power the boost sensor. So essentially that's what's going on. Uh, it's pretty basic. And again, if you look at the schematics, then uh, it'll make a lot more sense. So I'm gonna go into more detail on how everything is wired up. Again, if you wanna skip past this part, I'll put a bookmark in the video progress. So essentially what we've got going on here is we have a five from the five volt pin on the Arduino. That is going to the VDD pin on the screen, which is your voltage input. And then we've also got a ground from the screen going to the ground um, up here, actually this, using this ground pin um, on the Arduino. From the screen, we have the SCK and SDA pins. These are the serial communication pins that are needed for your I2C. We have the gray and the black. So the gray SCK is going to analog five on the Arduino and the black SDA is going to analog four on the Arduino. Now that's the screen powered up and communicating with the Arduino. Now the only thing we have remaining is the boost sensor. So we have the um, power wires from, uh, the, so this black cable here is from the boost sensor. We have our you know, ground and our positive coming from um, our battery source. So I have a 12 volt battery because this, this sensor requires a 12 volt input. So I have uh, those two right there. And then we have the signal wire coming from the boost sensor going to analog zero, the input on the Arduino. So the next thing we got to do is plug the Arduino into our computer and load on our code. So I won't go into much detail about how to use the Arduino IDE, but uh, this is the software you're going to need to communicate with your computer from your computer to the Arduino. Um, so it's called Arduino IDE and allows you to create your code and upload it to the Arduino. Like I said, there's, there's a ton of info online about the Arduino and how to use it with different sensors and, and different things and how to use the IDE. So your best bet is just to do an internet search. So what we've got going on here is I have my USB plugged into the correct port. Uh, you have to make sure that you're selecting the correct port. Uh, I'm on COM4. And then I have this cable which will go to our Arduino. So let's uh, plug it in and see what happens. So as we plug in our Arduino, it powers on and you can see I've already got my code uploaded to it. So the screen is showing a value. Um, this right now is acting as a very basic boost gauge. So right there, it is showing the current boost pressure that this sensor is seeing. Right now it's seeing nothing. So uh, we have to find a way to get some boost into here. And for that, we're gonna use a little air compressor. So here's the setup I'm using. I have myself my little air compressor hooked up to a vacuum line, which goes into this T because I'm using my current analog boost gauge to um, properly calibrate the boost sensor. So from my T, I have another line that's gonna run to this boost sensor. So let's get that plugged in and then see what our screen shows. So now that we've got our boost sensor plugged in, I have my regulator turned down quite a bit so we don't have too much pressure going into the sensor. Um, now I just have to give it a little boost and we should see a value on the screen. So if I hold it in, we've got about 15 PSI. 16 PSI, 17, and you can see kind of here, that's about what we're reading as well. 19, we're reading about 19. So um, I have already gone through and calibrated this boost sensor, uh, its output signal based on what I'm actually seeing with this boost gauge. This one I trust, this one I've been using for years and I trust it. So 
I've gone through and I've calibrated this so I know that the, the signal that I'm seeing here is accurate. Now that's one of those things that you're gonna have to go through and do on your own based on the sensor that you've purchased. Um, I know that based on the one I purchased from AliExpress, um, the numbers in, in the code that I've supplied uh, is accurate for my needs um, and um, should be for yours as well, but it does not hurt to verify that with a boost gauge that you know is good. Um, so just a little disclaimer there. So as you can see, it really is that simple. A little later on, we're gonna add a few more features to this, so stick around for that. But now I think we're gonna get this installed in a more permanent way, so we're gonna install it into some PCB, and uh, I'll show you what we're gonna do here. All right, so I went ahead and I already soldered in the Arduino, just my uh, ground and my voltage in, just as a proof of concept to see if this will work, because I've never done this before. Um, so here I just got these little PCB um, kits that you can get off Amazon, and, uh, what I've done to connect the pins is actually um, I soldered both in and then I, uh, I jumped them with a little uh, blob of solder. It's a pretty rudimentary way of doing it, but it works. I just tested it, hooked it up to the battery, and uh, I did get this thing to power on. So I think that's going to work for us. So the plan will be next to get the power supply installed. I'm just gonna kind of slot this on here and then I can get my um, voltage in and then my voltage out will go actually to these um, two right here. So the plan with the boost gauge, I'm gonna be installing this in the car and running a piece of vacuum hose from the engine bay into the car. So this little um, jumper here will go onto a piece of, another piece of wire uh, which will be plugged into um, this as well, it'll get the voltage from this power supply, and then it will output its signal to A0, like we had before. And so the next thing will be the screen. So we're gonna get the screen. Uh, we're gonna have to create ourselves a little cable with um, four wires, and we're gonna have to get that to the Arduino. And once we um, get it there, we're gonna, we're gonna have to make it in such a way where we can disconnect it and reconnect it so that we can properly run the wire. Um, so yeah, we'll figure that all out, but for now, I'm gonna install the uh, power supply, and then we'll move on to the boost sensor, and then the screen. All right, so now that I've got my ground and my voltage in, little jumper wires, I've decided to put my power supply on the back side of the breadboard. Uh, it just makes it a little easier to run this. Uh, I know I had said before that I was gonna plan to put the entire power supply on this piece of breadboard, but all the holes didn't line up. They're from different suppliers, so uh, things aren't perfect when you're buying cheap boards from China. So this is gonna work. I have my inputs here, and those will come directly from the battery. And then I will have my voltage outputs on that side. So I'm just letting my soldering iron warm up and then I'll put some solder on those two pins and then we will uh, test it and just uh, make sure this thing boots. So these jumper cables are hooked directly up to my battery. So you can see the LED is powering up, so we are good to go. So next step, we're gonna grab the boost sensor and we are going to put the um, positive and negative um, the supply to the sensor into these um, two extra terminals that we have because this power supply here does have two ins, two outs. So we have two more, or one more out that we can use and that'll be for the boost sensor. And then uh, we will test that and see if we're good to go. In this one. So now, if I hook this thing up to the PC and use a serial monitor, I should be able to tell if this whole setup is working. I'll put some voltage in here, and I'll be able to tell if the boost sensor is working and giving its signal to the Arduino, so let's try that. All right, so we've got this wired up to our battery. We have voltage going in, which is good, so that means the sensor should be live as well. So I'm just going to upload my new code to the Arduino and the code just includes some serial output 
uh, because I don't have the screen wired in yet, I can look on the computer and see the uh, actual boost readout. So let's do that. You can see our serial line is transmitting because the TX light is blinking. That means every 100 milliseconds, we are getting an output on the serial line. So take a look at this, we're getting zero. And if we give it some boost, yeah, we're getting a reading. So that means everything we have wired up here is working good. So on to the next step, which is going to be get, getting the screen hooked up to this whole setup. So here we go. We have the board completely soldered and I've got my uh, ethernet cable, which will go to the display. So this is the board completely done. And again, I will have the circuit diagram uh, linked in the description below so that you can kind of see what I'm doing here. It's, uh, it might be kind of hard to see what I'm doing on camera, so having a diagram will help a lot. So next step is going to be getting some uh, jumper terminals on the end of this side so that they can plug directly into the screen. So now on here we have these little jumpers, these headers here, and I'd like to get a jumper to go right on there. Um, so I don't have a cable directly soldered from the board to the screen. Uh, otherwise I won't be able to route the cable properly. So what I'm planning to do is to take a few uh, jumper wires and I'm just going to kind of cut them up. So I, I need to make sure I have a female end. I'll have four of those and then I will um, use the other end. I'll just um, crimp or solder, I haven't decided yet, to the uh, this cable here. Sorry, this cable, and then I'll be able to just plug it directly into the header on the screen. All right, now the last step is going to be just plugging the screen in. So there we go. We now have a fully functioning system. I got my screen, my Arduino, and my boost sensor. So the next step is going to be putting some voltage into my power supply and then just making sure that we get uh, proper readings and that everything's working. So let's give that a try. Oh, there we go. Okay. So the screen has voltage. Which that's a good sign. Uh, let's see if we get any boost. Yep, that looks to be all working. So that's success. We got everything wired in properly. Well, here we have it. This is the fully completed DIY $20 boost gauge. So we've got it all soldered up. Uh, we got our cables here. So I electrical taped this and I have some old sheathing that I have some from some old um, automotive wiring harness. And um, we got our leads that'll go to the, um, the, the voltage input. And then uh, that's it. Well, that's all for part one. We got the boost gauge made. Uh, next step is installing in the car and that's a bit of work. So we're gonna save that for its own video and that'll be the last one in the series. Uh, that one should be out shortly. So uh, keep an eye out for that and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.